Hello, this is Bo Astrop Pops Productions. This is the second video of the three-part series I am just doing on Motu Digital Performer uh, Pro Verb that ships with Digital Performer, which is an excellent reverb. And what we're talking about in this series is how to add custom impulse responses to Pro Verb. So let's open Pro Verb first, and we will find all the different impulse responses uh, in Proverb in clicking on this little downward arrow and you can see there's only when this submenu sh shows up there's only things you can select under the factory which means that's what's shipping with Digital Performer and they're all great as is but we can add a lot more that will show up under here uh, a user first and then we can move them around to share it or to project folder if, if that's something that you need to do. But how do we add a impulse response? Well first we have to get impulse responses and there's plenty of impulse responses and very high quality ones. Almost free and even some are free available on the internet. You can just search for them. Or well, there's a great thread on mo2nation.com about impulse responses and proverb. So let me open my downloads folder and uh, I have a couple of things in here. I have uh, a series of impulse responses made using a M7 hardware reverb and if we open this folder you'll see we have a lot of presets in here and they are kind of all organized. You have all the halls from uh, preset one series, preset two series, the plates, the rooms, the chambers, the ambience, and the spaces. The only thing that's not available here are the non-lin, which are killer reverb presets in their own right, especially on like pop vocals. I really love the Bricasti reverb. It's a fantastic piece of equipment. Anyway, these are available to us, and um, before I start loading these to Proverb, I want to make sure that when I'm going to select them later on under the user and have my submenu show up, that when I sh select the Picasti M7 impulse responses, they don't show up like this huge long list, but I want to kind of have them subdivided into the halls uh, plates and so on and so forth. So what I'll have to do before I import them is I have to make new folders. I'll make a new folder called Halls, Chambers, Rooms, Spaces, Ambiences. Let's see if I'm there, so I'll take all my halls and put them into the halls folder. I'll take, let's go down to the bottom and take all the spaces, put into the spaces folder, open the rooms. So I'm selecting all the rooms, putting them in their little subfolder. So we have spaces, so we need, let's do chambers, we can do them right here, go to the chambers, and we have ambiences, and we still need a folder for the plates. Okay, so now we have separated all these into subdirectories, subfolders inside the main Precasti folder. Okay, so before I'm going to import it, I just want to show you where these are going to be stored once they get into Proverb. And once we're, while we're in the Finder, we'll go to the Go menu hold down the Alt key so library sh the user library shows up. So when I hit 
the uh, all key the user library shows up so open up the user library I'll go to application support go to mo2 we'll go to the proverb folder right now there's nothing in here so let's go back and open the down downloads folder now before I'll do this uh, I have to be aware that the name of this folder will be the name of the menu that is being created in Proverb and I don't like this precast the M7-32 bit 48k and then a parenthesis dash set one I do like to have the information that it's 32 bit recorded and they're 48k in resolution so that's cool so I'll just rename my folder to precast the M7-32 bit 48k and now I'll just drag it and you can see how Proverb responds that it's it detects something it's been dragging into the window so I'll just let go of it and it's asked me to verify the installation location sure and Proverb now goes ahead and processes all that it's not that they're really doing an anything to the file except that it's creating a um, uh, some metadata and adds around these files done and now we will see here under the user all of a sudden we have a sub menu we have the precast the m7 the 32 bit 48k and we have all the sub menus of the folders i just made so we can go ahead and select any of these precast the impulse responses and work with and then you can tweak them further in in proverb but they sound fantastic just out of the box so let's go back to the finder and go to the library folder application support mo2 proverb now you see there's something called user showing up here now on my computer here I'm not sure why but it shows up with a folder icon but it's not really a folder as you can see over here on the kind it says anything it's actually a package so if I try to double click on this folder something weird will show up but what I can do is I can control click or right click on this package and select show package content and now you'll see here's my folder that will be cast the M7 and there's two more files being shown here in the folder one is called node XML which is the metadata file we can open it so you can see what's going on inside this file this is basically a metadata file XML file that Proverbs using to create the master menu under the user menu so you see here's the menu item and it has a it's called a branch and it has an ID so say I was going to delete these things out of a proverb I didn't want them anymore I need to do two things first of all I need to select this whole branch and delete that save this file and then I can go ahead and delete the folder is referring to let's look inside the folder because you will see there's a node.xml file being added to all folders when being imported and added to proverb and they're basically all doing the same thing they're talking about and referring to the subfolders as you will see these are basically what is being these are my uh, sub menu items ambiences chambers halls plates rooms spaces whatsoever so that's what's inside that file so let's add some more and see how that goes I have another 
set of impulse responses for that I can use a proverb. I have another set of impulse responses for the Picasti. Uh, it's called the True M7. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any real difference between these and the ones I just downloaded. These have already been sorted into subdirectories, so I'll just take this right away. And, and please bear in mind, the first one I imported will be menu item number one. The second one I'm adding now you'll see once it's finished processing these will be menu item number two. I'll show you in a few seconds here when we're done. Sorry. If I go here, user, you will see the Bricasti True M7 is becoming my menu item number two. And we can go back and just go to Finder. Let's go and look at the library again, application support, mode to proverb user, and right click or control click, and you will see now there's two folders in there. I still have one node.xml, so if I open that, now you'll see it has added the second set and created the second menu item in the XML file. So this is how we are going to continue. So I have a bunch here of lexicons. And again, remember the name of of the folder here is how they will show up. That will be the menu item name. So this one, I'll just rename it to lexicon 200. I know there are impulses. I'm, I'm cool with that. So I'll add my lexicon 200. Now you'll see this will be number three. It's called lexicon 200. We have lexicon 480L. We'll add those. And you'll simply see how they add the menu items um, as I go through this. So there we have Lexicon PCM70. And again, it just added to the bottom of the menu. So there's another PCM. I'll rename that to uh, Lexicon PCM 70 version 2. Adding these. And there's Lexicon PCM 90. can see it's been added. I uh, thought so I forgot to remove the imp impulse set. So that would be okay, so how can I correct this now? So what I would have to do would be go back to finder, go to the user library, application support, mo2 and right click or control click on the user show package and now you see I have it here what I can simply do here is I'll change the name take away the space impulse set but I also have to open the note does Excel to reflect the name While that's done, it won't initially show up in Proverb. 
we will have to quit and restart DP. you'll see now the impulse response set has disappeared from the name. Okay, so I can continue. Now we have Quantec. For those who remember those guys, they were really great reverbs. Or oh, Spatial X. Spatial processors. So that's when in SPX ninety I have a TC six thousand. CM5000 Then I have a Eventide We all know A3000 but let's just play them and uh, pay them a little tribute and say Eventide that was a great piece of equipment So as you saw, I renamed the file and we'll go user and you will see called Eventide A3000 Reprobation. Again, it takes the name from the folder so I could go back now and change the name in, in my library file to change the name and, and reflect it. In ProWork we'll just do that in a moment. Let's just add the last one. So when you add these, they will show up consecutively. They won't be sorted in alphabetically order. They will simply be sorted in the order you import them into Proverb. Now I want to get rid of like mu music pack. That's cool, uh, but reverberation. Let's just get rid of that. So we'll go back to the Finder, go to the Go menu, hold down the Alt key, select Library. Go to application support, mo2 proverb user, and right click and show packages. So we have a 3000 reverberation there. Get rid of the space and reverberation, and now I have to open the corresponding node file. And basically make that the very same. It has to be the same. Otherwise, uh, we will confuse um, DP. So here you have it. This user file, which has now grown to 1.9 gigabyte, important to bag it up. But not only for backup purposes, you can also carry it on the CD. Uh, you can email it or whatever, uh, depending on your licensing right, of course. If you, but if you have the right to share them, uh, you can either share them with other DP users or if you're going to another studio with another DP install, you can bring them with you and just simply take this one file and put into the ProWeb folder inside the Mo2 folder in the user library and application support.